Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medic Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to discuss some recent updates to the uh, wall plugin that I've made, and specifically, I wanted to talk about custom casings with windows and doors. So I just did a bunch of overhauling with uh, casings and introducing some new features on that. So let's just get started here and go ahead and put down a grid and throw some walls up so we can throw some windows and doors into it. So as usual, I like to use that uh, little grid tool that's available on the uh, extension warehouse. Really handy tool. And then I think we'll just go throw up some regular rectangular walls. Here's my little wall menu here. Yeah, just to get things started. All right, so let's um, actually I kind of started that in the wrong spot there. <clears throat> All right, let's just put a fairly long wall here just so we have some good uh, <clears throat> territory to put some windows and doors in. Okay, so typically when you go ahead and create a window or a door, as you know, and I keep having my menus come up over here because I was working on the other. Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> screen you typically have the uh, window and uh, door uh, draw menus pop up so as you can see you've got all your options here for this window you've got your install options your trim options which are your exterior trim and then you have your casing options which, which is some people call your interior trim so let's just go ahead and um, use the default style a and we'll throw that window in there okay so <clears throat> if you look at this window <clears throat> Uh, with a style A, um, this is like kind of the very common style of, of casing or interior trim. So what I've done now, and you can you know use the draw menu or the edit menu to add in these new styles. But let's go ahead and just edit this opening real quick um, and take a look at all these ones that we've added in. So before I think we had style A through uh, E uh, was, were, the, were the ones that were around for a while. And now we've added in these custom styles. So let's start here with style F. Let's see what we get with style F. Okay, so style F added in that little, a little bit more elaborate uh, header. And then just recently I've added in style G, which makes it even a little more elaborate with the uh, kind of the molding at the top of it like that. In fact, those are quite common in the house that I currently own. So I uh, thought, you know, what the heck, let's add those in. Okay, so, you know, that's uh, just basic um, kind of stamped out type of uh, casing styles that you can use. And, of course, you can modify them with all these other little parameters. But then uh, I thought, well, you know, it would be nice if a guy could just um, do like a wrap with a, a certain profile. So that's where we started into the custom style. So if you click custom here, the first thing you're going to notice is that um, <clears throat> this... Uh, you're going to have another casing profile parameter pop up and then you're also going to notice that you're going to have like a little preview of what that profile is and so what you can do now is you can select and i and i basically have three um, profiles that i have yeah, set up in the profile library and i'm going to show you how to get to that and how to add to that so if i go like with this kind of a standard what they call 356 uh, profile and hit update now you can see it's basically what it is, is a style A uh, type <clears throat> casing or uh, option with the, with the custom profile used as the wrap. So, you know, you can go ahead and uh, swap that out. Let's say this, this one here or this other one here. And so you can see now it's taking that uh, profile and kind of almost like profile builder is just wrapping it around the... Uh, around the uh, <clears throat> the window so so what that does now is um, we also have the other custom so what <clears throat> well I guess what I'm trying to say is, is essentially custom the custom option or profile uh, casing style sorry is really style a but it's using the custom profile so and that's where I kind of had custom D F and G so custom D is basically style D but with a uh, custom profile. So now with style D, typically what I would do, it would be something like um, a custom D style. I would go probably with um, this, this one. And so if you hit click that, 
Now, of course, it looks a little weird because we need to uh, change the header uh, depth here, or width, sorry. So what I would do is I'd probably go with like a 3.5 on that. And see, now you've got like, a, like your typical rosette where you'd put your rosette there, and then you've got this... Uh, I don't know what I don't know what this exact casing profile is called, but I see it everywhere. So, <clears throat> anyways, um, so that would be your uh, basically your custom uh, D. So let's go ahead and try a couple others now. So custom F would be with the header, but now you're using the uh, you know the this particular profile again. You can swap this out. Um, let's try that with it. See now it looks like. And, you know, so basically with these profiles now, they are, you know, you cannot really adjust the size of them. They're going to be whatever size that you've set up. And so you can put in, you know, as many profiles as you like at different sizes. And, and then you can make sure that they work for whatever you're doing. But again, if you do adjust this jam width, um, for instance, let's say it was 5.5, right? Now it's not going to adjust your profile. But it will, you know, push out the header uh, to that match that five and a half. And so, if you do have a much thicker profile for your casing, your jams, um, then you know you would, you can always play with this jam width to match to it, right? And uh, conversely, like let's say that this was uh, the three five six profile, which you probably wouldn't use, but just in case. See now that that profile is, you know, I think it's what two two inches. Uh, wide so so that obviously looks a little funny because that header is bumping out way past that so like let's say we go with a, a jam width sorry um let's just leave that 3.5 let's say we go with a jam width of two and a half uh we can bring that in and match to it much better see so um yeah there's there's a little few more options here with that um <clears throat> And let's uh, let's try now the custom G. So custom G and custom F and custom D are really just style D, E, or F and G, but with the uh, incorporating the uh, your your custom casing profile. Okay, so let's try custom G. Okay, so that just basically same thing, but now it has the uh, fancier little molding up on top. <clears throat> All right, uh, I think that's pretty much it as far as that goes. Um, uh, just wanted to try one last thing here. So, <clears throat> uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, so, you know, like this may not look right because you want to bring that up a little higher, that header. So I'm going to go a little higher. That looks a little more stately, I guess, is the right, right, right word. Um, anyways, um, I think that is pretty self-explanatory. I, I provided this little profile preview because I thought, you know, it's nice to have the casing profiles, custom casing profiles, but, you know, unless you can actually see them, it's hard to remember what, what is what. So I think that preview screen uh, helps facilitate that. And then again, with uh, doors, um, pretty much the same thing. Um, <clears throat> if you go ahead and ch select um, like a custom door profile here you can go ahead and now see so you've got your your custom profile wrapping around and and you've got pretty much the same selection of um, options as you do with the with the windows so I'm not going to run through all those again but just just to let you know that, that I've enabled the custom profiles for doors and windows and then lastly, I uh, just wanted to point out um, that you, in the global settings here, you can actually set the defaults now uh, using these different uh, custom profiles as well. So here, you know, you've got your, typically you've got your style A set up, but if you do decide to change it, you want to set it up to a custom profile, um, you can, you know, play around with this, get this set up however you want. And... Go ahead and save that. And same thing with Windows. Um, <clears throat> say you want to do a custom G. Uh, let's just go ahead and save that. And um, yeah, so you can, you, just like in the draw and edit menus, it will show you a preview, show you what you've got, and you can go ahead and get that set up here in the global settings. So what will happen then is every time you know you start new SketchUp session or whatever, it's going to default 
to this particular casing style. <clears throat> All right, so that pretty much, uh, I think, wraps up the basics with uh, how to use custom profiles. Now, of course, I've only included just these three, three, five, six, the Medique one, I call it, you know, I don't know what it's actually called, and the RB3. I think I got these from CertainTeed's website, or maybe it was in the, uh, in the warehouse. I may have got those profiles from there, um, but I think they're pretty standard across the industry. So, uh, but you know, let me know. And if there are any particular uh, profiles that you'd like me to have included, it's no big deal. I can um, add those in, but just, I haven't got much feedback yet on this uh, new feature. So just, you know, let me know on that. All right, so question now I'm sure people all have is, well, how do I go about adding in a um, custom, uh, where, where do I put the custom profiles? Okay, so, <clears throat> so let's go ahead. Uh, here's my SketchUp plugin folder on my computer. And as you can see, I've got, you know, a bunch of the Medic wall foundation uh, floor and, and uh, truss extensions here. So I'm going to go into the wall extension folder. And what you want to do is you want to go into the library folder. And then the library folder, you've got one here called casing. Okay. And you've got a bunch of other ones too. And one called system. Uh, the one that's called system, uh, I would recommend um, not to typically get into this one. Uh, the only thing I have actually in here right now is the what I call the CM header. That, that CM header uh, profile is actually what uh, generates um, this profile right here for this particular casing on the type uh, type G uh, window and, and uh, door or window and door casing. So if you do want to actually modify that and change that, yes, you can, you you can actually do that by by changing this particular um, this profile. But I mean, if, just don't. I wouldn't be deleting that because if you do, you're going to disable the ability to create the type G. Uh, casings. So let's go back to library, go into casing, and you can see here that I've got the three, and they're just, they're basically just SketchUp files, right? Uh, we call them components, but they're just SketchUp files. Um, <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to open those up, or if you want to modify them, or if you want to add others in, uh, I recommend uh, actually opening those files up. Take a look at how they're formatted. In fact, I think it would probably be good, beneficial um, to open up one of them Let's see if I can get there here. I'm in the wrong folder. Uh, give me just a second here, and I'm going to jump into that, that little one of those files. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's open up 356. Okay, so what you can see is what's what's important here is <clears throat> Really, um, first of all, I don't have anything on any special layers. You know, there's no special textures, nothing. Everything is very uh, simple. Um, so basically, I just created the, you know, the, the profile. Then I grouped it. And you can name the group, the instance name if you like, or you don't have to, but I did just because. Um, but I basically just want you to create your profile, the face with the edges then just you know make sure there's nothing else in the file and just group that uh, all those objects into one group and then it's ready to go notice that i have it at the origin and it's on this side of the x and the y um, axes and it is you know on the basically the zero plane and so what you want to do is you want to make sure if you do profiles uh, for the casings you you follow the same pattern because if you don't, you're not going to get the, the output's not going to be right. So again, I, if you hop into this file, you'll see exactly how you need to format um, these, uh, these casing profiles. And once you do that, go ahead, drop it in the folder, and then it'll show up in the, uh, uh, um, in, in the plugin itself. But I think the other thing too is, is keep your naming convention simple. Uh, don't put any white spaces or dashes in the in the profile names when you save the files uh, that may be an issue I can't remember but I, on some other in um, <coughs> situations that was an issue so keep your naming structure simple and then uh, of course keep your files simple and straightforward 
And that's pretty much it. You just you, you create your little profiles, um, put them at the origin, and notice which side of the or, or the axis they're on, and then uh, you should be good to go. And then, like I said, save them in your uh, library slash casing subfolder, and um, yeah, have at it. And you can you it's basically unlimited. You can put as many casing profiles as you like in there, whatever you need. So anyways, I think that pretty much wraps it up on um, this uh, new feature. Um, appreciate a lot of people's feedback on this, requesting this, because I actually wasn't planning on doing this. But then after I got enough requests, I it swayed me in the right direction. So again, thank you guys for your support, and we will talk to you later.